Hi, I'm Ray Gibbons. I'm a consultant in cardiovascular disease and internal medicine at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, where I've worked for the last 33 years. Uh, the study reported in this issue of the proceedings uh, reports on the use of echocardiography in Olmsted County outpatients with chest pain and normal resting ECGs who were seen here at Mayo Clinic Rochester. It addresses an important issue about which there is very little data. If clinical practice guidelines at a national level specifically recommend against doing particular tests, how often do clinicians ignore those recommendations and actually do those tests, and what are the results? Uh, the American College of Cardiology and American Heart Association have issued national practice guidelines for years, and they have a recommendation against the use of echocardiography in patients with stable chest pain who have normal electrocardiograms and no other indication for echocardiography. So we thought it would be important to find out how often in our practice that recommendation is ignored. We studied patients over a five-year interval, seen here uh, at Mayo Rochester, who are from Olmsted County, so that they were local patients, not referral patients. And we were pleased to find that the rate of use of echocardiography uh, in these patients who the guideline recommended against its use was very low. Um, and the patients often had another indication for echocardiography uh, that was specifically recognized in the guideline. For those patients who were studied in, in basically opposition to the guideline, the echocardiograms were almost always normal. In two patients, they weren't, but those two patients uh, did not have care that was affected by the results of the echocardiogram. So our results confirmed the recommendation of the guideline against the use of echo in these patients because the yield was incredibly low. And we did find that many of the echoes that were done probably unnecessarily were pre-ordered before the physician actually saw the patient. So we had a specific recommendation that that probably could change in order to further reduce the low rate of unnecessary, unnecessary echoes that we saw in this study. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.